he's had a lot of friends kind of interested in what he does. The smells going on out here are amazing. Charcuterie board, our charcuterie 10 foot table. Hello. Hello. Uh, he and his buddy have a hunting channel called The Main Hunt. Uh, put their game cams out and it kind of got me all excited to get mine out to get ready for hunting season as well. So. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is uh, something we've been talking about for a while. Um, finally, I'm gonna pick a day to brew some beer. Mm-hmm, he's gonna get out his kegging equipment that he got a couple months ago, use it for the first time, but he's had a lot of friends kind of interested in what he does. And mm -hmm. so, um, one of your friends is actually gonna brew with you yep. for his own batch. Um, and we have other people coming over to kind of just watch and hang out. We're putting together some charcuterie boards. You're smoking something on your grill. Um, some pork belly, and so overall it should be a good day. Right now we're just heating up the water to start the mash, which um, is essentially like making tea or just getting the sugar out of the grain. Uh, I'm doing a West Coast style IPA and my friend Justin is doing a uh, New England style IPA. So we have two different style of IPAs, um, both very hoppy and delicious. So this is the pork belly. Um, we bought a pig about a year ago and we still haven't used it all. So this is the first time I've made this and right now I'm just spritzing it with apple juice. Apple cider. Apple cider that we actually pressed last fall. Oh, we'll hydrate it. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Hopefully. Pork belly is about done. It took about six and a half hours. Um, hopefully it turns out good. Yeah, it probably will. The smells going on out here are amazing. The smoked food, the brewing, the fresh cut grass. finished our charcuterie board, our charcuterie 10 foot table is actually what it was. And were there eight of us? Yeah, plus the little boys. And we have a lot of food left over, which is kind of fun because that's gonna be Ben and I's lunch tomorrow, but 
Um, we've kind of been talking about what we would do and wouldn't do Absolutely. next time. We realized we could get away with a little bit less variety. We were a little bit over the top. Yep, but we tried to have a little bit of something for everybody, which was great, but I mm -hmm. think, yeah. It, not that it was overwhelming, but we definitely could cut back. And oh yeah, totally. And we're full, and we haven't even eaten dessert yet. <laughs> but we're gonna. Yes, absolutely. And so I think we're gonna clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna head outside and join the guys. They're still finishing up their brew. And maybe we'll have a fire, I'm not sure. So yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, it was a little bit more work than I was remembering. Um, there's always something to be doing, and everything is very um, important to do at certain specific times. So you have to be always watching the clock and just preparing for the next step. Um, but we had a great time. There's a lot of people that came over, and it was just a great time that we had. Um, so right now I've got the beer in the fermenting bucket, and I have it actually in our guest bathroom because it's a nice, stable environment. It used to be about 65, 70 degrees. And this morning at about 3 o'clock, when the temperature got down, I pitched the yeast, which means I added the yeast to the to the beer. And on the airlock here, it's just a little pressure release with some sanitizer in it. You can see the, the uh, gas is showing that the yeast are working, so they are making the beer. And now we just play, play the waiting game, because it's about two weeks until we can try it. But... Um, it's exciting. I had a lot of fun. Weston has always used just a blank outlet cover as a phone. So I want to show you what he does and pretends to call his grandparents. Bring, bring. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Papa. Hi. Oh, you want to talk to Weston? Yeah. Okay, here he is. Oh, Weston, the phone's for you. Papa wants to talk to you about the tractor. What's he doing? Take care. Hello. 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 Who is it? Hello. Hello. Oh, you want me to talk? Oh, hi, Papa. Hi. You want to talk to Weston? No. No? Oh, I guess Weston's not available. Call Grandpa. Tell him, come pick me up on the side-by-side. -side. Do you want Grandpa to pick you up? Yeah. Yeah? Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Several weeks ago, uh, we filmed as Weston and I were getting haircuts. Um, and my barber, his name is Zach, he, uh, he and his buddy have a hunting channel called The Main Hunt. And we'll link uh, to their channel down below. Um, but they asked if they could hunt on our land, and we said, of course. Um, so tonight they're going to come over, and even though it's a several months uh, away from hunting season, um, they're going to set up some game cameras so they can figure out where the deer are and um, how they can strategize a little bit uh, before hunting season gets here. So uh, we're going to head out tonight and set up some game cams, and um, they're going to be filming, and so it'll be on their channel. Um, but like I said, I'll link to their channel down below, and... Uh, be sure to check them out. It was a little while ago that Zach and his friend from the main hunt came out and uh, put their game cams out and it kind of got me all excited to get mine out to get ready for hunting season as well so uh, I came out tonight to put, I have three cameras so I'm going to put those out and this here is a, a little blind I made uh, about this time of the year last year and so I'm just going to put my cameras out to see if there's any deer activity. I think right where I'm standing is a pretty main highway for the deer so I'm going to Put it on this birch tree and see what we can get for pictures. Okay, one down, two to go. So we'll give those cameras a couple weeks and see what we get for pictures. Um, if it turns out to be a bad spot, then we'll move them. Um, I just wanted to uh, remind you guys to make sure you check out the main hunt if you enjoy hunting at all. Um, it's a great channel, they're funny, and they put out a lot of re really great hunting content. So make sure you check them out, we'll link them down below. Um, 
and just thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it, and be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.